President Putin has ordered Russia's strategic nuclear forces to be placed on high alert. He says Western leaders have made aggressive statements about Russia. And he also says that uh, international sanctions are illegitimate. Boris Johnson has described the move as a distraction from the reality of what's going on here in Ukraine, while the U.S. denounced it as completely unacceptable. Here's our Moscow correspondent, Steve Rosenberg. From the Kremlin, a pointed message to the West. Don't push Russia. President Putin summoned his military chiefs and gave them an order. Top officials of leading NATO countries are making aggressive statements about our country. Therefore, I'm ordering the Minister of Defense and the Chief of the General Staff to put the strategic nuclear forces on special alert. Would Putin really use them? He practiced a week ago, overseeing exercises of Russia's strategic deterrence forces typically unsubtle hints to America and NATO not to stand in his way over Ukraine. Today's special alert, more presidential muscle flexing. Across from the Kremlin, Muscovites gathered on a bridge to remember Boris Nemtsov, the Putin critic gunned down right here seven years ago. For Vladimir Karamorza, this was a day for remembering a friend and for condemning the war. This is not Russia's war. This is not a war by the Russian people and the Ukrainian people. This is yet another military adventure, military crime by uh, an unelected, unaccountable, authoritarian, and frankly, increasingly deranged dictator in the Kremlin by the name of Vladimir Putin.